Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the other fan TV. Back at you, another video at the content. This video, go ahead, smash that like button at the content of this channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Uh, Ravens versus Steelers game status. Uh, big rivalry game. Who's playing, who's not. Uh, so let's hop right into it. Let's not waste any time, all right? So we're going to start with the Steelers side because this side, I honestly, just a lot shorter. They got three guys who are listed as questionable to play. That is TJ Watt, Deontay Johnson, and linebacker Malik Reed. Now, TJ Watt and Deontay Johnson obviously are two big time players for the Steelers. And um, I think both guys will play. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, those guys missed the game. That's big, that's big news for the Ravens. Even if you feel as though Kenny Pickett and that Steelers pass game isn't that effective, Deontay Johnson is still a great wide receiver. And we already know what TJ Watt doing on the other side of the ball, man. You know, he's a menace, he's a monster. Um, he has big games versus everybody, but he definitely has some big games and big plays versus the Ravens as well. Um, so we're going to be watching enough for that. But I expect TJ Watt, Deontay Johnson to play, but you know, we'll keep an eye out for that, like I said. All right. Now for the Ravens side, Ravens side is a little longer. Uh, so let's get right into it. Okay. So for the Ravens, they only ruled one player officially is out and that's Daryl Worley. I believe he had a hamstring injury that's been uh, bothering him and nagging him. So they officially ruled Daryl Worley out. Quarterback Lamar Jackson is listed as doubtful, but John Harbaugh all what confirmed the Ravens were going to go with Tyler Huntley this week, which is a, a surprise to no one. Um, it was what was expected, so there's really no story there. Uh, they want to give Lamar Jackson the time to heal up, whether it's a week, two weeks. It could be a full three weeks. We'll see. Um, but that's the time to for Lamar Jackson right now, one or three weeks. So this game versus the Steelers was always out of the question. Even though he's not officially ruled out, he's out. All right, now, for the questionable category, you got Pat McCarry, uh, Patrick Queen, Kevin Zeitler, and Chris, uh, sorry, Christian Welch, excuse me. Now, Queen is going to play. He's been pretty much practicing all week. Um, he said himself the injury um, that knocked him out of the game wasn't as bad that he needed a cart. You know, <laughs> they brought the cart, out, the cart out there for him. He didn't want to get on it. It is what it is on that, but um, he's going to play, so don't no worries about that. Uh, McCurry, we'll see what happens. Um, but you know, questionable is a good upgrade because he did lead, uh, lead the game last week as well. Uh, Zeitler is the big one here. Um, he's been pretty much he missed the uh, Wednesday and Thursday of practice. I believe he was limited today. Uh, so we'll see what happens with Kevin Zeitler if he's not active, if he's not playing, then they're going to really need McCurry to be active so he can fill in at that guard uh, that guard spot. We know McCarty does everything along the loss of the line for the for the Ravens, so we know that. And Christian Welsh, special, special teamers, uh, he's been dealing with a concussion, so he's questionable. We'll see if he plays, you know. Uh, so three guys with no injury designation, Marcus Peters, Jason Pierre-Paul, they don't practice usually, so that's no, really no big news there. Um, but, yeah, they would just rest all week for those guys, the veteran players getting rest, you know, him, Justin Houston, Calais Campbell, uh, along with Marcus Peters and Jason Pierre-Paul. Those guys get really rested throughout the week. So uh, no injury definition for them. They're going to play. But the big news here is Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley was a full participation in practice on Wednesday. Then he was limited on um, Thursday. Then today on Friday, he did not practice. But he still has no injury designation. Maybe the Ravens are just playing this slow, playing it cautious with Stanley. But it looks like Ronnie Stanley is in line to play. So that's great, great news for the Ravens. That's great news for the left side of this offensive line. Um, Tyler Huntley gets a big time left tackle to protect his blind side. And that's uh that's huge news for the Ravens anyway. You try to cut it. Um so that's pretty much the Ravens versus Steelers game status. Big players coming back. Uh Steelers got two big guys on the injury report, TJ Watt, uh Deontay Johnson. Still expect to see both guys out there. I'll be surprised if we don't. Um and now on the Ravens side, quarterback Lamar Jackson is out. You know, there's no reason to get any hopes up about that. Doubtful is really like a five percent chance to plan, but Harbaugh has already said we're going with Huntley, so no reason to even think about that. Uh, on the questionable side, uh, Patrick Queen is going to play, but the big guy here is Kevin Zeitler. Will he go? Will he not? We got to wait on that. So I think he's kind of a true game time decision. So we'll see what happens with Kevin Zeitler. And um, obviously, the biggest news here to me, Ronnie Stanley. Kevin Zeitler is a great player, a Pro Bowl level player. He should make the Pro Bowl this year. But Ronnie Stanley has all pro kind of potential. So you got an all-pro player and Ronnie Stanley that's, you know, left tackle, probably the premier position on the offensive line. That's the biggest guy right there. So that's the biggest news right there that he looks like he's going to play because he has no entry designation as of right now. So that's Charades versus Silver's game status, man. I'll do the game preview for the game tomorrow. 
And um, yeah, man, we'll talk about this game a little bit more in depth then, man. It's your boy Gabriel, Digital Fan TV. I'm out.